Well, welcome to the Wavecast. Notice there's something missing from the title, as we are afraid of commitment. What's today's topic, my, uh, my partner? Today's topic is the end. The end? And the beginning. I feel like we've done this before. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but what is this the end of, and what is this the beginning of? Um, well, it's the end of Super K, definitely. Yes. And uh, it's the beginning of our new roadmap to YouTube success. And that is podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Non-live podcasts. Because live is too difficult. See, when you're on the spot, this happens. You also have to have a bit of an audience to do live effectively, I feel like. Mm -hmm. We had about, what, a solid five viewers? Five to seven on average. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, is, is great. Great. For the first three episodes, nobody knew who we were. We didn't invite any friends or family. We Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure, like, five out of those seven people were, like, our parents. My parents didn't watch live. My dad did. <laughs> Thank you, Jonas's dad. Thanks, dad. Our only loyal viewer. Just kidding. No, Bruce Thorpe is our loyal <laughs> viewer, but he's not. he did not partake in the live streams. No. But now we have a bit more of a fan base. Some great people on our Discord channel. Go check it out. Also, go check out our Twitter, Shameless Plug. We have one now. We're, Wait, we're getting... Wait, since when? two days ago oh okay <laughs> so tell me jonas what was the filming of the last super k video like what was the filming what how did it feel knowing that that would be the last video what was that whole journey like well i knew it was going to be a fun video because yeah. You know, I closed a Kmart myself, and the last day that our store was open was the most fun day we had ever had. And I knew that that was going to be the case at Super K as well, and it it really was. It was it was great fun. Got to meet a lot of really great people, who you know, and meet our contact there, who was talking to us the entire time that we've been making these videos, and we had never met her until the last time we were there. <laughs> Yeah, she actually initially got in contact with us after the first video, correct? Yeah, she commented on one of our Facebook posts. Yeah, that's right. And then after that, I had messaged her about some other th inner working things that we wanted to do that never came to, uh, never came to light because uh, the Kmart corporate guys completely ignored our request. <laughs> <laughs> um, we tried to see your episodes two and three but i think we just barely missed her both days because she would leave at yeah. like mm -hmm. 3 p.m and we showed up at like 3 15 yeah <laughs> well we, barely missed. we met some other great people both those trips though. oh yeah we met a lot of wonderful people um dan was like our first guy gloria uh, gloria rosie, rosie. I'm blanking on a lot of names. Blank, yeah, there's a lot of people we met. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. There's, there's a lot of people that we met that I, I can't remember like 90% of their names and I apologize <laughs> for that. But every single person in that building was f amazing. I I loved every single one of them. It was, it was, like, it was like my Kmart family, but just at a different store and different people, but they were still that same family and it was wonderful. They were very nice. When we when we showed up the fourth trip, the final trip, is I think where we we really kind of met everyone. Um, yeah. On the second trip, we talked to a couple people briefly. By the time we got to the third trip, we got, we were starting to get like recognized to the point where like people were approaching us. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and, and the second one, we walked up to some people were like, hey, we're, we made a video about your store. And then they're like, oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah. By, by the time we got to the third one, we were walking around the store and people were like, hey, yeah. and we're like, hey. <laughs> But then we get to the fourth one. And then we got like swarmed when we got, yeah. we like got there, we were walking around doing our thing. And then like, I think it was like six or seven people just like swarmed in and they were like, Hey, and then we, we like got a tour of the back room and, uh, we took a couple pictures with some people and there's like a couple non super K employees too. Really? Yes. Uh, they, they were ex Kmart employees. But they did not work for Super K at that time. I don't think the one. Oh yeah. I don't okay. think the one lady actually even worked for that Super K. You're right. I, I think, think she was just uh, mm -hmm. a follower. I think she knew the people there from what yeah. it seemed like. It wasn't uh, a complete stranger, but at the same time, it was still kind of like outside the boundaries. Um, Wally also got noticed uh, by by a fan, not even someone. Uh, <laughs> well, he did a live stream. Yeah. And then like. It was more than one person came drove, down, drove yeah. down to the store and was like, "Oh my god!" And they had no idea who we were because you know, we're not as big as Wally is. But <laughs> as well, Wally is the biggest channel that was there, right? Or is it that Nate guy on YouTube? Is, I, I, can't, I can't remember. They're pretty close. I can't remember. It was pretty close. There were supposed to be a couple other YouTube guys there that were gonna show up, but I guess it didn't happen. Um, you know, whatever. But. Shout out to all of them though. We got we got Wally, we got that Nate guy on YouTube, uh, News eighty nine. There was the other two people there had a channel. I don't remember the channel name because they just started it. I, I feel bad. I can't remember who they were. We didn't talk to them that much, but they mm. were there. They were nice. Ace's, <laughs> Ace's Adventures was supposed to be there, but they didn't show up. Like yeah. they were they were like planning to like they had planned to come, and then I guess while we were at Super K. Wally had like noticed that he started a live stream at a dead mall in Canada. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a little far away. <laughs> it's like, but double shout out to Wally because his live stream got us past the thousand subscriber mark. Yeah, I gotta say we that's... got. I think we got like a hundred subscribers that day. <laughs> yeah, we did. So double shout out to Wally. Double shout out. But that channel. They were all great. Um, everyone from Super K was fantastic. I don't think I have any complaints. They gave did us. Did you have a complaint? No. <laughs> Were you going to have a complaint? No, I did not walk into Super K thinking I'd have a complaint. <laughs> um, but they gave us a tour of the I building. Know. It was like crazy. It was like I didn't expect to go back there. I was not expecting that. Yeah, a smidge of the footage is in Super K four, but we avoided showing a bulk of it due to insurance reasons mainly yeah we didn't want to overstep our boundaries um yeah but i mean we have it for our own personal viewing so you should be kind of jealous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no this uh that was really neat and uh we didn't we weren't there for the final few minutes because it looked like they were going to drag on like all day long mm -hmm. we had already been there for we were there for like five hours if, yeah I mean, we got so, there at, we got there at like it was like 9 30 or 10 o'clock in the morning and then we left at like what 2 30 3 o'clock yeah ish. about and uh yeah there was no like no indication they'd be closing anytime soon so we yeah. left and then i don't know probably yeah. like 15 20 minutes after we left we left wally was like hey come back they're, they're closing in 10 minutes yeah they're like come back and we're like oh we're sorry we're, we're already on the highway on the way back home yeah um which is okay. I think with our style of video versus some of the other guys there, yeah, it it still worked for us, mm -hmm. um, especially because Jonas went back to get some of the letters uh, and the signs that we wanted, yeah. and got some after closing footage. So with, I, like, I did get to see the store what it looked like on the inside after it had already closed, and that camera's flashing. That the little timer's flashing. I think yeah, we're we're end. hitting our time limit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Pause. <laughs> Resume. Uh, yeah. So, it is closed now. Um, supposedly with a Myers moving in, which would be kind of neat. Maybe, maybe we'll we'll go back and visit Myers, but it's not going to be to the scale as as the Super K videos. No, we might 
It'll be we co- might do a little montage yeah. video. It'll be like, yeah. Probably be closer to like the buttermilk tenders video, the or like tenders. maybe the Bridgeville video, something. You know, the buttermilk tenders simpler. video was probably one of my favorite videos. That was a video where I think that was was that the first video we did in this house, or we did the "We're Not yeah. Dead" update. <laughs> I think We're Not Dead happened first. Yeah, yeah We're Not Dead happened first. But Buttermilk Tenders Buttermilk was, the, tenders first, was like, the first like video, video, video that we did. So that... <laughs> I don't know why. That one was just fun because we were just like... The Buttermilk Tenders came out. I tried them. I told Jonas I hated them. He was like... Let's, let's do a video. Let's test it. Let's... <laughs> then we shot it. All I gotta do is test it. All I gotta do is test it. <laughs> what about the stuff with Kyle? Is that just like... <laughs> The <laughs> it's like the the stuff that we wanted to do. The animating is not. It's been delayed. <laughs> delayed. <laughs> we announced it and now we're delaying it just because it's going to take a lot of time and it needs a lot of planning that can't really happen right now. I feel like we need to build the channel first a bit more. Even though we plan to use that as the way to build our channel, it it is a bold move, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, I think, like, on Jonas and I's end, there is a lot of work that needs to be done in order to feel comfortable doing it. And on Kyle's end, who is mainly a... He, who's an artist, but he mainly works pen and paper art, not digital art. That transition for him has been in the works. Uh, I think to draw out the little whip animation that's in that, it took him five or six hours. Yeah, it took him like an entire day. Which, like, um, you know, nothing against the kid. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, it's, (laughs) it's not like he's garbage and that's why it took him so long. But, like, that's just part of the process and he never really did digital art before that. So, um, we, I mean, we know some people who have done a lot more digital art. We're hoping to work with them and Kyle to make that process a lot speedier because that's going to be the bulk of the time yeah. is the drawing. The drawing. And so it, it's still, I want to do it. I do. I think Jonas wants to do it. I, I think do. Kyle wants to do it. I think everyone involved wants to. It's just a matter of getting it done. Yeah. <laughs> Having time. The biggest part... And this is the biggest thing with any video or anything is having the time to do it, which is our biggest problem. You know, we work full time and he goes to school, you know, time, finding time when we're both off together is very, very difficult and does not happen very often. Exactly. And that's kind of where our channel has been stuck. I feel like ever since we, ever since we started, (laughs) Yeah. It's just finding the time to coordinate because as much as we both like doing the one person content, whenever you do one person content, it takes more time <laughs> because you don't have someone else there helping you do the content. Like I think Super K2 in terms of getting it done was one of our for the length of the video was one of our faster turnovers simply because we had more people involved throughout the entire process. I think having T. Kush there to film helped a lot because we didn't have to worry about like, okay, who's going to be holding a camera? Like, how do we change it back and forth? All those kind of steps. And then, two, we were at a point where we had a bit more time, I feel like. And we. Yeah. Well, it was the summertime and, you know, you weren't in school <laughs> and I wasn't working as much. You know, I, I didn't have as many bills to pay, so I didn't work that much. So. Yeah, and you didn't work that much either. I would say, if we're looking for a prime time, it's going to be this summer. We're at a point with the channel where we're on our, I don't want to say our tipping point, but we're at the point where I feel like if we put the work into it, we can get it to a point that we don't need to work as much. And if we can slim down on work, we can put more back into the channel. Mm -hmm. And that's just a steady growth from there. So... I'm out of school this summer. We're both steadying out on jobs and lives. So hopefully, (laughs) hopefully. (laughs) So this summer, 
gives us a big opportunity. And I think if we just dedicate ourselves to this a bit more, that at least gives us a consistent content because consistent content is consistent life. It's, it's the main way <laughs> to build your channel okay. is to just put out content, put out, put out stuff all the time. If you don't put anything out, you're just hoping that the one video a month is good enough. And, it, and it, that doesn't work. It never works that way. And we don't, we don't know how to do clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> so we we already lost that way of growing our channel. What clickbait? You can't figure out clickbait. You can't clickbait. I feel like the first Super K was a clickbait because how was it clickbait? It was definitely not clickbait. It, it's not clickbait because of the way that we put it up, but it was clickbait because of what well, was like the only the idea. It was really the only. It was the first video of its kind, really. Yeah. Like there, nobody made a video about that store like the last super k before exactly and like it was a weird idea too and i think like the fact that it was short enough for yeah, somebody to watch it and be like this is so weird and then pass it on yeah that's what made it quick clickbait but like when we come back to like super k two three four we're not it's not a new idea anymore yeah it's so just like it's just a sequel and when it comes to something like the buttermilk tenders, like there's other reviews out there, you know, it's not. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, and then like, I mean, if you look at like, even like the Bridgeville Kmart video, it's just a Kmart. Yeah. At this point there's, well, like when, like when we made the Super K video, there weren't a lot of retail I mean, there were, and we weren't, we were definitely not the first like retail oriented channel content creators, no. not, not by a long shot, but it didn't really, I think, and I don't want to take complete credit, but I think that first super K video kind of sparked more people to, well, a lot of more, a lot more channels started. You know, more people started, you know, making these videos. The, the Our video got really popular and subscribed to us. And, you know, then all these channels started making these videos. And then people, you know, then Dan Bell started making, you know, I mean, he had been making videos before us, but then, you know. Yeah. But, um, you know, then there were more channels, more urban exploring that started to get popular. And, and here's know. the thing. Think about this. Most of the channels that were already around were about the aftermath. Yeah. They were they was... were not they weren't this is what it is now. Yeah. Here we are. You know, this you know, we nobody really made a video about going to a store that was just in normal operation. Exactly. You know, it was either a closing store or a store that is now abandoned or one that is being torn down. And uh, two, there, I can only think of one other video that at the time was popular and was a similar, I don't, it wasn't even a similar format. It was more like, like one of Wally, Wally's videos. Like, um, I don't want to say like a total, just like rough cut, but like uh, more vlog style. Mm -hmm. um, and it was titled a Kmart somewhere that is doing well and has no plans of closing. And I believe that video got relatively popular. I don't know if it hit like 133,000 views like Super K1 did, but it was more popular than a lot of the other videos of this genre mm -hmm. that I'd seen at the time. And I remember seeing that shortly after Super K1 came out, I think because it's all it's almost always in the related videos of Super K1 for me. Um, and if you see it, like I, Say, I would say check it out, um, but that's the only other video I can think of that's about like an alive retail store yeah. that's relatively popular, and you know I'm sure there's like plenty out there that you know are from these channels, but like the fact that it was the last Super K, the fact that people saw last Super K, didn't know what Super K was, <laughs> and wanted to dispute that fact, <laughs> um, also helped, but like. There's just a whole bunch of factors I feel like that went into Super K1 that made it this like first, yeah, like a, <laughs> this first like a, to be like honest. Spark. Um, again, we're probably not the first people to ever shoot inside uh, that Super K. To like, no. we're not taking credit. Like, oh man, 
were the only super cave people out there but like the way it presented itself and the way people took it i feel like had a huge impact like we were expecting a completely different response than what happened i feel like at least i was the response took it uh, a certain direction that for example reddit (laughs) yeah reddit that was that was the biggest (laughs) thing i remember that day we were at um Permani- we were at Permanis with Collier. In Cranberry. Yes. <laughs> and I remember, like, my phone, like, blowing up. Because I got the notifications, like, when we got comments and stuff. And my phone was just, like, going crazy. And uh, so, you know, I pulled out my phone. I was, like, going through the video. And all of a sudden, the video that we had put out, like, I don't know, a couple weeks before, had, you know, when, I, when we last checked it, it had maybe, like, 800 views. And then... All of a sudden it had 10,000 and then we were like, holy crap. And then a couple minutes later, I refreshed it and then we had 30,000 and then 50,000 and it just kept going and going and going like in an afternoon. Like most of the views, like I think it like went up to like 80,000 in that one afternoon from like 800. Yeah. I was going to say by the end of that day. We were at 80,000, because I remember it was a few days later that we hit 100. Yeah. We're like, oh my god, we hit 100. Yeah, we're like... Yay. Um, but we didn't even... At first, we had no idea, like, why this was happening. I, I had a person message me on Facebook that I hadn't talked to in years. It was like, hey, saw your video on Reddit. And I was like... What? Sorry, what? <laughs> and uh, he sent me a link, and it's just this Reddit post of, like, look at these two idiots, like, yeah. <laughs> going to Super K and thinking they're cool or something, and we got torn to shreds on it, but we didn't get many dislikes on the video because of it, and we got a ton of views. <laughs> so, <laughs> taken then Dig post, uh, picked it up, Business Insider ended up doing a little piece with mm-hmm. our footage and whatnot, and uh, we actually, from that video alone got i mean people contacting us like yeah, about we had, it, it was mm-hmm. like yeah about um, our channel it was like we did have another like um it was like a it was a local newspaper for like niles ohio yeah and i can't remember the name of the publication but they did contact me and i was in contact with them because they wanted to do an interview and I said, yeah, I'll do an interview. And I don't know what happened, but like the timing just never lined up and it fell through and we couldn't manage to do it. But um, I mean, yeah, but like we got all kinds of recognition, people contacting us. I got stopped at the zoo. <laughs> like I was out with my girlfriend and some random stranger walked up to me and was like, hey, you're that guy from that video. <laughs> and uh I got stopped at Best Buy. You did get stopped. I got stopped at Best Buy by an employee who I now work with, Russell. If you still follow us for some odd reason, what's up? Come visit us in the phone hub sometime. (laughs) I don't know. I've just... We're... Kitten there. We're kitten there? We're kitten there. We got a new kitten. Maybe we'll make, a, we'll make a cat video. We should make a cat video. I was going to say we should show all of our signs and stuff in this. Maybe we'll do another video. But that. maybe we should do like a house tour. Maybe we should. Let's do a house tour. Let's do a house tour. And, uh, I don't know. So you're going to see more videos like this. We'll do it in the style of like MTV Cribs. There we go. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. We got a gimbal now. We're going to, oh man, it's oh. going to be so good. Uh, anyways, you're going to see more videos like this, I feel like. Discussion videos, let's call them. It is technically the wave cast, but it's not... It's a bit looser than a yeah. traditional podcast, it's not I feel like, like. It's not like we're talking about news and other crap that, you know, that makes no sense. You can bounce ideas all. off of us. So. Yeah. Give us some topics. Like, what do you want to hear us talk about? I like this kind of stuff, but there's only so much of this you can talk about, like, after this. I don't know what to talk about. All right, let's put it. You know, let's put a straw poll. A straw on, poll. on this video. Okay. We, we're gonna have people vote, so we know what to prioritize. Okay. You're gonna keep seeing videos like this. This one is staying around. <laughs> this is this is sticking because uh, retail stuff. But 
let's see would people rather see us do retail videos and just have a lower frequency of videos or would you rather see us really put everything into the motion painting i don't know how many people really saw our last video to um feel like connected to that idea yeah. <laughs> but let's let's leave the vote at this uh keep it retail don't even try anything else i think that's gonna be the popular <laughs> vote try keep retail um but just keep it in a low frequency and just expand our horizons um i like that idea the best pursue the motion animation kind of stuff the motion painting animation um i feel like if we have enough people that want to see us pursue that and it becomes an overwhelming vote it's worth us putting our time into but you will see a decline in other videos um yeah. but it is an idea out there that people seemed we didn't get many comments on it but we got a good response out of the comments that we got mm -hmm. so it's something to especially from our discord chat which yeah <laughs> i've got to say for the people who are not on our discord channel it's uh, in the description if you want to talk to us directly, give us direct feedback. I check it all the time. I'm on there like every day, like, you know, talking to everybody that's in there. We have a pretty decently sized community in there. I think there's close to 50 people in there now. Um, so, I mean, join up, talk to us. That's like the best way to get directly in contact with us is through that. So, you know, that's... That's fair. If you want to, you know, drop us a line, say, hey, what's going on? Or what if you did this? Or what if you did that? Join our Discord channel and we'll chat up. Oh, I'm going to add one more to the straw poll. Okay. So that should give us four options. Okay. More vlog videos. Doesn't have to be retail. I think just that format. I think people will like that. I think people like I think that. people want that. Keep in mind this we're most likely going to do a mesh of everything. Mm -hmm. Um but this is what for like what we should prioritize. I think you're it's safe to say this what's happening right now will will stick. You're going to keep seeing these videos. <laughs> um the consistency is up in the air, but you're going to see them. So ignore this. If you comment and say you want to see more like this, great. Love to hear the feedback, but like this is staying we're so, gonna be doing this anyway yeah we're gonna be doing this anyway so the straw poll will be like don't do anything other than retail uh do retail but bring some other things in to keep uh you know keep some videos coming out but prioritize retail with a blend and then the third one is the motion painting slash animation fourth one is vlog style videos again you're probably gonna see all of it but at the same time like this is like a what do you want to see the most of uh if we get an overwhelming vote for the motion painting slash animation fantastic we know that we should just dedicate that uh, dedicate to that but the warning i give there is i think the time and effort that will take will put a, a more serious decline on the rest of the videos um same with if you say you're like retail only <laughs> that's gonna put a pretty serious decline in like any other content coming out yeah um, so you got two like heavy focus votes and two looser focus votes, but like still giving us a good idea of what you want to see. Um, also, yeah. what do you want us to talk about in these? Yes. That's this, a big question. Come join our discord and, uh, leave a comment on like what kind of things you want to hear about. Hell, you can just throw a name of like some company in there and be like, Hey, I want to see your thoughts on this company. We'll do a bit of research and we'll just spew give our out, goes on it. Spew out some info. <laughs> just spew out some info. You can talk about companies we already know. You could hear about Best Buy if you want. Um, Best Buy. Best Buy. Maybe we should Best do buy. a maybe. Maybe we should do a comparison Kmart to Best Buy since we both worked in both companies now. There's something. It's possible. And they're kind of two. Oh, they're on a opposite ends of a spectrum right now yeah <laughs> so uh maybe maybe we'll do that for next week um do the kmart versus best buy and uh that way we give some more time for people to pick up on this idea and give us uh some other ideas mm -hmm. yeah that's actually a good idea i have a lot of ideas for that actually so that's pretty good 
it's 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 rare that I have ideas for things. <laughs> All right. Other than that, though, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a bit more of a random, <laughs> a random video. I feel like in the future we'll format this uh, a bit more structured. Uh, yeah, it'll be a bit more structured. But for now, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Wavecast. Wavecast. Uh, Wavecast. Episode four. Episode four. And, A uh, new hope for the Wavecast. <laughs> remember to check us out. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment. Wow. Uh, How do people do this every video? I don't... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna well, they have a script, that's why. Oh, yeah. We, we, don't, don't, have, we, we, don't, have, we don't have a script. We're like... Well, like an, a couple hours ago, he was like, you should write a script for this. And I was like, okay. And then I didn't do it. So... Yeah, uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, do all the things, write all the rights, click all the clicks, and uh, we'll be back. Give us a call. <laughs> Good enough. The end. <laughs>